This was a good panel. We had very different opinions from the German side and from the American side. Um, actually, I think it would have been better if we had a uh, discussion from Google or Facebook to have a company's perspective in the debate, but it all was very good, yeah. I love that we got the experience of the big security conference and we were able to be here at the Bayerische Hof and to also like be able to ask questions to the panel of uh, very, uh, various uh, uh, guest speakers. So they talked about hybrid warfare and I learned about uh, US military and Germany. That's very interesting. I have family in Florida, part of military uh, family and so I think this was very interesting to, 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 to see the different specialists sitting on the stage. In a democracy, one does not Security doesn't come before um, freedom, constitutional freedoms. In, in fact, the, the beautiful thing of democracy is that they are so intertwined and that there is a constant tension. Uh, every time you get on a Lufthansa flight, you agree to give up privacy. In order to take advantage of the airplane, you allow your, everything you own to be searched. So uh, that's something we all have adjusted to because people who would want to, uh, who are terrorists, would be willing to destroy an airplane full of innocent people. So um, each of our nations working together have also determined that there is a, a healthy tension between protecting privacy. In the U.S. it's guaranteed in the Constitution, yet I know that every time I type something, it potentially could end up somewhere else. So. The, res the individual responsibility is an important part of this. This topic in general is, is interesting and in general that um, I, I can see Americans and Germans who discuss about a topic which is in general important for both countries and this is re really connecting. Global cooperation is key. This is not something that any one country can do alone. When we see the threats we see in cyberspace, they are threats that are never in one country, they're routed through several different countries. When we see the opportunities in cyberspace, it's a global network, and so we need to work together both to preserve the opportunities and make sure that we have the whole world involved in this, but also to cooperate against shared threats and how we can do that. Like the people on the panel also said, we have to get, at one point, common standards and international standards and Western standards to protect our privacy, but also and make sure that we can live in, uh, in safety. And I think this is probably almost impossible to get because just the values and the, the opinion about privacy, about what is private and about what is secure is very different. That we need to have both security and privacy. We need to have both an open internet but security. We don't trade one off against the other, but we figure out how we do both. And indeed, a lot of the effort in the last year in the US at looking at how we do how we collect intelligence, for instance, to protect our people, not just our people, but our allies. How we do that in a way that's transparent, that's a proper purpose, uh, that has oversight, which all democratic societies should have that debate. But at the same time, we can't lose sight of the ultimate goal of keeping a free, open internet that's been such an incredible engine for both economic and social growth, and security is part of that, so we need to work together. In this age of technology, it is important that our policy and our way of life adopts to new technologies and this is the major essence for me. Um, is uh, safety um, more important or data security for the normal people? And in the end, for me, there, there is no real conclusion in this. 